During ESMO 2021, we have seen several interesting results on trials investigating um, patients with metastatic prostate cancer. On one hand, there was the ARCHES trial for patients with metastatic hormone-sensitive prostate cancer. Then there were the results of the COSMIC O21 study for metastatic castration-resistant prostate cancer, as well as SAKK0816, who also investigated patients with metastatic castration-resistant prostate cancer. This year's ESMO, the final overall survival analysis of the ARCHES trial was presented. Um, ARCHES included patients with metastatic hormone-sensitive prostate cancer and they received either androgen deprivation, ADT or ADT in combination with the AR antagonist ensalutamide. First, the results on the co-primary endpoint of radiographic progression-free survival were presented two years ago and were very positive and uh, this year the overall survival results have been presented and uh, with a follow-up of almost four years, they are clearly positive with a 14% absolute improvement in the overall survival after four years. There are two groups where the benefit is not quite clear, which includes patients who have also received docetaxel and patients who have visceral metastases. But apart from that, we can say that the ARCHES results emphasize uh, the results we have seen with the ENZOMED study and that ADT plus ensalutamide is a life prolonging treatment for patients with metastatic hormone sensitive prostate cancer and represents one of the standards of care. The COSMIC O21 trial for patients with metastatic castration resistant prostate cancer evaluated the combination of cabozantinib and the tezolizumab. Um, this was a phase 1b extended um, patient cohort study and uh, the hypothesis behind it is that cabozantinib creates an immune permissive environment and therefore might enhance the response to immune checkpoint inhibitors. Primary endpoint is overall response rate which was reached in 23% of the patients with measurable disease and over 70% of the patients had some reduction in tumor size. Therefore, the combination of cabozantinib and antezolizumab might be a novel combination for the patients and is now tested in a phase three trial. The SAKK0816 trial by the Swiss group of clinical cancer research investigated the use of maintenance darolutamide in the setting of metastatic castration-resistant prostate cancer in patients who had previously received novel hormonal agents and then went on to receive a texane chemotherapy and did demonstrate non-progressive disease on the texane. This was a randomized phase two trial and the primary endpoint was radiographic progression-free survival at 12 weeks. The primary endpoint was met with a absolute difference of 14% between the darolutamide and the placebo arm. The median radiographic progression-free survival was also improved, as was the event-free survival. The median overall survival showed a three-month difference um, with the advantage for the darolutamide arm, but was not significant. Darolutamide was very well tolerated, um, with very few grade 2 and grade 3 side effects. It remains to be seen whether the implementation of darolutamide as a maintenance treatment will be an, a next step in the treatment of our metastatic castration-resistant prostate cancer patients. Mm -hmm.